Our next guest is a uh, good friend of ours from San Francisco. He will be appearing there on uh, July 9th through the 12th at the Punchline. Please welcome comedian Bob Sarlat. Bob. <laughs> Thanks for being here. This is great. How you doing? You enjoy uh, coming to New York a couple of times? Yes, I love it. It's yeah. great because the Yankees are doing better now, and the yeah. Mets, uh, yeah. yeah. The Mets are unbelievable. The Mets, Mets are really stunning, though. yeah. Giants are in the hunt in the West. Yeah, I love that's it. That's right. Any, any Giant fans here? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that bothers me, though, is, is arbitration in baseball. You familiar with this? Every year, all the players try to, you know, they try to ha hold up all the... Uh, all the owners by arbitration. The best case this year, Wade Boggs, right? Plays third base for the Red Sox. Right. He wanted, yeah, thank you. Nice to see you, Wade. How are you? <laughs> he wanted $1.85 million to sign this year. Right. He lost an arbitration. He gets 1.35. His attorney called it a tragedy. <laughs> Let's put this in perspective. How about these folks in Bangladesh? Typhoons every day. Think of that news came out. Look at this, Sajid. What is it? Have even another typhoon? No worse than that. Wade Boggs lost an arbitration. <laughs> is there no God? You know, um, <laughs> Music? Are you a big music? Did you know they had a, a huge event over at the, the Meadowlands yesterday? Did you go over there? I didn't, but 11 I eleven hour concert. Amnesty that was for international. Amnesty. I didn't yeah. go to that, but you can bet that Wham wasn't there. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> last time I was on, I hammered Wham pretty good. And you don't, you don't, not a big Wham fan. Well, they've broken up, Dave. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty much like the Kennedy assassination. We all pretty much remember where we were. We first heard the news. Um, <laughs> but the monkeys are at it again. The monkeys are back. Yeah. Here they come, walking down the street. They get the funniest looks of everyone they meet. Why? They're 45-year-old mop tops. That's why. <laughs> uh, yeah. You, uh, uh, you know, now is the season when uh, uh, the new television programs are being produced. Well, there's nothing really new happening. Anything you know? strike your fancy there? Well, you know what I always hate? They always have these celebrity guests on sitcoms. I think they weren't thin. Remember last year they had Nancy Reagan on uh, Different, Different Strokes. Strokes? That's right. This last year that they outdone themselves now, they outdone themselves. The, uh, <laughs> what I saw, uh, I guess it was Punky Brewster, a show you like quite a bit, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I bought the VCR. That's right. Who's Punky's new best friend? Marvelous Marvin Hagler. <laughs> he was actually on the show. I could, what, no, what is it, was he really? What does an eight-year-old white girl have in common with the middleweight champion of the world, you know? <laughs> I mean, what are they going to talk about? Mommy, I'm thinking about having a slumber party with Jeannie, Joni, and Marvelous Marvin Hagler. You know? What are they going to talk about? What's the life lesson to be learned from his appearance? You know, I keep thinking, uh, well, Marvin, all the kids that's going to give me a lot of heat, what will I do? Slap them till they're brain dead? Thanks, Marvin. <laughs> You're the greatest, you know? Slap them. But there's nothing really going on. They're bringing back... I talked about Perry Mason the last time. That came yeah, out. big success. They're bringing back Gunsmoke this year, Dave. I didn't know yes. that. Yes, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Marshall Dillon and I guess it's Miss Kitty, 30 years of foreplay. Uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty much, you know, put up or shut up at this point. Uh, <laughs> the guy is 70 years old, James Arness. Is that right? I didn't realize that. It's, you know, how many, you know, law enforcement agents in the Old West were 70? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's kind of hard to get, for the townspeople to get behind a guy every time he yells posse, he spits his teeth into the crowd, you know? <laughs> He's yours, Marshall? Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I don't know. There's a bunch, they're also bringing about Gilligan's Island, one of your favorites, a mm. two-hour TV movie. Yeah. Boy, and these, these, of course, these shows are getting very much issue-oriented now. It's a little different. It seems in this one, the skipper has been beating Gilligan. <laughs> and uh, Been beating him. Yes, in the last scene, he sets fire to the skipper's hammock. Uh -huh. So, uh, <laughs> let me learn there. Gilligan had been misbehaving. Yes, yeah. thank you. Needed okay. to be disciplined, apparently. That's right. So the skipper was beating him. It happens. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. They're spending a lot of dough, not so much on the old shows, because they're old shows, but I wish they brought back Father Knows Best. One of Good my favorites. Show. Sure. Yeah, Robert Young, he's, he's still breathing air. Why don't you have him do a show? Uh, <laughs> the, it's a, it's a, I love the old premise of the show, the idea that he's a guy that was real nice to his kids, you know. But yeah. Always misinterpreted the advice that Bud, you know, Bud would say, Hey, Dad, I just killed 12 people. Oh, Bud, you know how I feel about bragging. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they're not, you know, they're spending doing commercials now. It depends, you know. Uh, you d you've done some commercials yourself. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of my favorites out now is Metamucil, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, don't believe everything you've heard about fiber laxatives. <laughs> Who's talking about this stuff, you know? <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, is uh, Jeannie ready for a date? No, she's not, Pop. Oh, good, that'll give us a chance to talk about fiber laxatives. <laughs> and, of course, good news for all you heartburn sufferers. Maalox now comes a new, delicious Swiss cream flavor. <laughs> Watch out, Sarah Lee, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Eat all your vegetables, Dave. I'm sorry, you'll go to bed without your Maalox. Um, <laughs> What else is happening? How about here? Father's Day? Did you talk to your dad on Father's Day? Well, my dad day? is 70 this year. Ernie? Ernie, the dirty guy. He's watching, he's watching, the dirty guy. 
When parents get older... You call they, your father the dirty the guy? The dirty guy. <laughs> dirty guy. 70 years old. When they get, when they get older, they get louder. I went to Father's Day breakfast with him yesterday. We go into the place. We walk in back and goes, You see that guy's hair? <laughs> I say, Dad, would you shut up? And, what? What did I say? What? What? You know? <laughs> you know what they do now? You know what? You know what old folks do now? When they retire, my dad doesn't need money that bad. But what he does, he collects coupons for any apparent reason. It doesn't matter where he has to go. You know, son, we just saved forty-nine cents on a jar of Skippy peanut butter, but we had to go to Spain to get it. You know. Uh... <laughs> he's he's always kind of guy. Very polite kind of guy. It doesn't. At the end of a big meal. You know how fathers, he'll belch. But when father belch, he doesn't sound like a human being. He sounds like, he sounds like a bus. <laughs> it's like this three-pronged event. Nice meal, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Where... I had a transfer I had some, on that, Dad. Uh, <laughs> I had some a transfer on that. Yeah. I had some more information on you. You're going to be at the, what is the name of the club? Oh, I'm the, playing uh, the Punchline San Francisco. I'm doing two nights here in New York. But there's something here at the what's it called? Stand Up New York. Stand Up New York. And I, I won't know. be at the Miramar Beach Inn in Miramar, California. Sorry about that, but uh, I'll right, be here in New right. York. Well, thanks for being here, you Bob. Bet. Good luck to you. Nice thanks to see you. We'll, we'll be right back, folks.